Hey everyone, we're back. It's Friday. We've been working on all these transitions to kind of bring us into the mount and we started to look at some submissions from the mount. We're going to kind of continue that focus today. We're also going to look how to move around in the mount, going into S mount, help us get that arm bar, a couple chokes, all that good stuff. So if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. Now go train. I'm gonna show you guys like a little different way to do bow and arrow choke. Bow and arrow chokes, one of my favorite chokes from the back, but we can also do it from S mount. My approach is a little different, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so again, we're here. Uh, I'm gonna have Aaron give me a bridge. We're transitioning up to S mount. Okay, so we get here. Okay, so arm bar is a great option. Nothing wrong with arm bar but I want to have choices if I can. Sometimes I get here with someone and their armbar defense is really good. I just know he's very strong, whatever it is. Okay, so again, I have another option. I can open his collar, grabbing that collar as closest to me. I'm gonna reach under his head and I'm gonna feed it thumb inside, okay? When you guys go for collar chokes, when you guys go for collar chokes, you wanna use the seam of the gi. Okay, I don't wanna use the edge of the gi. The edge of the gi doesn't actually go across Aaron's neck. I want to use the seam because it's going to go all the way across his neck. Okay, so again, when we're here, I'm going to reach under and I'm going to feed the seam of the gi to my hand. For this one, guys, give it a little bit of slack. It's okay to have slack here. I'm going to move his body same way like I'm going for the arm bar. Okay, as I do that turn, my left leg comes around and through the hole. Okay, look, I'm going to hike his leg up behind my head. I'm going to start to lean back and I get the choke. Okay, think about pulling this elbow in as you guys see the bow and arrow choke. Left hand again, behind the head, pulling everything in. So this is like a really nice drill for you guys to set up that bow and arrow choke from a top position. Usually where you have to be on the back, but we can do it from S mount too. Okay, so again, when I'm here in Aaron Bridges, I'm turning, feeding that collar, and look, I'm pulling Aaron towards his legs as that, as his arms come up, arms in, as he starts coming up, it's going to help me with the position I need where I can throw this over and now I can finish the choke. Okay, one last time, here Aaron Bridges, transitioning up, collar, throwing through. Okay, let's try the bow and arrow choke, one, two.